oh my goodness. I think the universe is telling me to knock it off. I've been, I went through this whole video and then realized it wasn't even recording. So fun. I get to do, if this happens again, I'm just not doing this one. <laughs> so I posted an announcement on my video, on my, my video, jeez, on my channel Friday, uh, I think it was saying that I am taking a hiatus and I do plan to do that but with it being the end of the month I thought well let me go ahead and at least do my completed pages this month so that um, I don't have to try to combine them when hopefully I come back because that would be probably a pretty long video so I figured let's go ahead and do this and then after this the hiatus will still be in effect and I'll talk a little bit to that at the end of the video because some of you may not even need a lengthy explanation on that one and if my microphone sounds a little weird I um, had gotten a new microphone Friday it wasn't working I had kind of an adult temper tantrum <laughs> of sorts and so I'm using my webcam microphone for this one because I do know that it picks up my voice pretty well. So, all right. So for the month, we have two different stacks. We have the mandalas and then we have all the other stuff. And so I'm going to go over the other stuff first. We do have Leroy is flying around the bedroom right now. First off, we do have some color by numbers for the month. Um, I have Animal Mosaic. This was the first picture I colored by Sun Life Drawing, which is the first page in the book. I will probably work my way front to back in these books. This was done with Rosart and Crayola Super Tip markers. I think I used every color in the palette, which is kind of cool. I uh, really like the different colors and how vibrant they are. This one was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it and um, I can't wait to pick up the next one, which I might even do today. Who knows? We have Floral Design Color by Number, which is by Jessica Mazurkowicz. I think I have that right. Yep. I try to at least do one page a month in this as I'm kind of working my way through it. I did have to skip a page because even though I had a blotter page behind it, I guess it slipped and there was some bleed through. I don't know if I can rescue it, so it may have to be one book minus one image or something. I don't know. We'll see. This was the page I completed this month. I think I used all Amazon basic markers on this one. I really wish they would put a description of what these flowers are. I know in some books, Lord Leroy. He is the klutziest cat. Like, he is the biggest framed cat I have besides Bigger. And let me tell you, that cat is klutzy. If he takes off across the house, he can't put any brakes on. And it's just a scatter of legs. And then he slams in the water bowls. And he's just, he's a mess. He's hilarious, but he's a mess. Um, I really wish, in some of their books for like the fairy tale enchanting fairy tale scenes and like that they'll put descriptions of the fairy tales like right here in the very edge of the page and I kind of wish they would have done that here with the flowers just so you would know what these flowers actually are some of them are obvious like these you know like daffodils but um or buttercups or however you refer to them but um ones like these I don't know what they are so that would be kind of nice Zen Doodle Color by Number, uh, Spring Awakening. This is by Deborah Moeller. There it is. I did this cute little fox using Prismacolor markers and Blick Studio markers. For some reason, the Blick Studio seemed a little streaky on this paper. I'm not sure why. It may just be the texture of the paper itself, which is relatively smooth, so that's a bit of a surprise. But whatever I made it work out and um, I really like how it turned out I was a little unsure about the orangey kind of roses to start with and that's what the colors what the color legend told me to do but I do like uh, the color balance now and I, I like that it looks a little funky good funky not bad funky 
We finally colored in the Wicked Plants coloring book. This is by Amy Stewart and Brioni Morrow Cribs. I did a flip through of this earlier this month. <clears throat> Again, another one I'm starting at the front and working my way to the back. This is Asinite, I guess. It'd be nice if they actually put how to pronounce them in here as well. I did this, of course, using Black Widow pencils. What else would I use <laughs> in a book about poisonous plants? I do like how this turned out. I will probably be Googling these to get reference images for colors and stuff like that because I'd like to color them true to what they actually look like. Had a lot of fun coloring this one and can't wait to start on the next one, which is something, two things I'm not even going to try to pronounce. <laughs> Just going to show them to you. We have Light and Dark Fantasy Grayscale by Jade Summer. I did this one last week. This was just a putting marker to paper kind of picture. I've been kind of weird about my markers this month. I mean, I've used them almost exclusively. What? There was one colored pencil? Man, that doesn't seem right. It feels like there should have been more, but I guess not. Okay. Anyway, I've been in a weird mood with my, color, my markers this month, but Anyway, I did this one using budget-friendly pencil marker pencils. Jeez, <laughs> I did this one using budget-friendly markers like Cali Arts and Shuttle Arts, and there goes Leroy again. I don't know if you can hear him or not, but he's galloping around like just. A, it sounds like an elephant trying to run through the house. So, I'm not thrilled with how this one turned out. It's just. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just I don't I'm not a huge fan of it. I do like the green. I managed to get I kind of I like the red. I do like her skin tone, but it's just something I don't know. It didn't come together the way I wanted it to. But it's still alright. We have Chibi Girls Grayscale by Jade Summer. Mm. Kind of itching to do one out of this one too. I did this one, which I've wanted to do for a while. I really like this one. I used Rose Art and Crayola Super Tips on it. I did get a little bit of paper damage on the face when I was doing using the Rose Art Skin Tone Marker. I was pretty bummed about that. Um, so, yeah, do be careful with those on um, pretty much any page, it seems. So yeah, I was a bit bummed about that, but it, overall it's not too noticeable. And on the white and the gray part of her outfit, I did use a white Prismacolor pencil just to soften up the white a little bit. And I, I just didn't want to sit there and just be the plain grayscale paper. I wanted to put a little smoothness and a little bit of texture to it underneath. So the white pencil was really good for that. All right, so now we're going to get to the mandalas. This month was the Mandala Mania color along. This was my first official solo color along, and um, you guys helped me make it a huge success. I was not a huge fan of mandalas beginning of the month, so it was kind of a challenge for me. I have since warmed up to them, and as you can tell, I've colored quite a few of them this month. This was actually a great fit for this month as I was struggling in my coloring. And the mandalas kind of made it a little easier for me. So thank you to everyone who participated over on Instagram. I was not able to feature the last bit of pictures for the month because of everything that's been going on. I will put a link to that uh, hashtag in the description. Please go over there and look at all the amazing pictures that have been done this month. You guys far exceeded my expectations for this month. I think most people have a love-hate relationship with mandalas. And uh, I didn't realize so many people love them. And I, th I hope there are people out there that were like me were willing to stretch themselves a little bit, challenge themselves a little bit to try it out, and then surprisingly find they like there's something else new to they like to color. So thank you so much to everybody that participated on social media. Thank you so much to my co-host uh, Samantha Marie Oswald, I believe is her channel name. So Samantha Oswald, 
Color with Donna and uh, A Colorful Life, which is, of course, Anne. I will put a link to all of their channels as well in the description one more time so you can go over, check out their channels. They're all amazing women. I love them to death. Um, they've been so helpful this month, and it's been a ton of fun. I said it was solo, but, I mean, I've had co-hosts. This is, I guess, the first one that I um, was uh, leading the pack in, so to speak. So, but they did an amazing job, and um, I really appreciate all their help this month and their willingness to co-host with me. So, we're going to go with Mandalas for Beginners by Jade Summer. Hang on one minute. There you go. My cats in the last few weeks, and probably just because I felt so lousy and they're probably trying to be supportive, my cats have not wanted to leave me alone. It's just been a constant barrage of... And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you're trying to get some stuff done and you have 11 cats that are all trying to get your attention throughout the day, it gets a little tedious at times. <laughs> all right. And so I had to put stuff out or fix up a cat bed for a cat to try to redirect him away from the desk so I can finish this video. Mandalas for Beginners by Jade Summer. Where'd you go? This was the very first picture color along we did to kick off the month. I used, I believe, budget-friendly markers for this. So Cali Arts and Shuttle Arts. Uh, there may have been some Sharpies in there. I'm not 100% sure. But we got our cute little elephants. And then I did one of my own. That was from a previous month. There you go. In all cool colors, I believe this was all Amazon Basic uh, markers right here. So there is that. I'm trying not to make eye contact with him. Eye contact is where you get in trouble if you're trying to keep a cat um, from getting in your way. Flowers and Whimsy by C.L. Aldridge. We did this one during a color along. This was with the Crayola Dual Tip markers. Just picked some random colors, some funky colors. I think it was Ann that said it. It's like, I don't know if there's ever really a, a bad mandala color combination out there. I've seen, of all the ones I've seen, they all always end up looking fantastic. Even if you're nervous about the colors you're using, they always seem to work together in the end. It's just, I guess, something about the pattern itself. It's a very forgiving type of thing to color if you're worried about color palettes and color combinations. Well, yeah, I said the sorry, I'm scattered this morning. The Flower Mandala's Coloring Book by Marty Noble. I colored this one offline. This was done using Rosart and Crayola Super Tips. We have Mandala's Color by Number by Shola Kerrigan. This was also an offline color. I colored this one using Copics, Copic markers. I wish I had switched to fine liners or ultra fine markers for the sprinkles. There was a little bit of bleed through, but nah. I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, it, it's an unusual mandala to say it, say the least and um, I just really like how it turned out so um, I was hoping to do more in this one especially since it seems like this has been a color by number month for me but I just never made my way back to this one this book plus I was trying to give equal attention to most of my mandala books just to get a chance to actually color in them Color Me Stress-Free by Lacey Mucklow and Angela Porter. I did this one. The shiny one. Sparkly shiny. Using uh, Pentel Sparkle Pop gel pens. And I was telling, saying on Instagram, um, when I took pictures of this, if you take the light off of it, see if I can do that, it's going to get really dark. 
you can kind of see it starting to change to the colors that they originally were. Like this was the purple pen. It looks more blue under direct light, but when you take the light off, it does have more of a purple tint to it. Same with the blue and green. So if it's not in direct light, you're going to get more of the colors that the, uh, you're going to get more, crap, there we go. You're going to get more of the color that the pen actually looks like. So when you put it under direct lights, when you start getting a little bit different look to it. So just as a follow up to those. We have Mandala Meditation Coloring Book by Sterling Ethos Publishing. We did this one using chameleon markers and color tops. I believe I used, it's either the Earth Tones or Nature Tones. Um, spring Green, Seville Orange, Hot Cocoa, Olive Green, and Bark. So if you're curious as to which set that was, that was what I based the original palette off of, and those were the color tops that I used for this area right here. I'm using my chameleon markers more. I really liked using them. I need to use them more. And finally, the winner of the most mandalas colored <laughs> book is Mosaic Mandala Color by Number by Sun Life Drawing. This was a combination of mandalas and color by number, which was a great combo for me this month. We did this one as a color and chat. I believe I used Rose Art and Crayola Super Tips for this. I also started using Rose Art and Crayola Super Tips on this one, but I realized very quickly that in these tiny little spaces, the tips of those are just too big and they were causing bleed through issues and I was having trouble getting to the edges. So I did switch to ultra fine markers, fine liners, and um, gel pens for the outer part of this. I realized how much easier it was to use those, so I believe that's what I'm using for the rest of this book. This one was also done with ultra fine markers, fine liners, um, no gel pens in this one. And this was the last one I did for the month to close out Mandala Mania. Again, thank you all so much for participating in that. Now, April was going to be a off month for me anyway, but I decided that um, starting after this video, I am going to take a bit of a hiatus from the channel. I did not want to put temporary on there as I just honestly don't know. I know I've done this a few times over the past few months as I've been getting, having back and forth issues with my health. So this one, I want to make sure that I'm good and ready when I come back, hopefully. Um, the issues I've been having this past week are some of the worst that I've had in a long time. I'm going to go to my Dr. Husty and talk about trying to switch antidepressants. I know how that's going to go, and it's going to be rough and stressful Um as I try to hopefully find one that will work better for me. Hopefully that will help with a lot of the symptoms that I'm having. And so soon, I hope soon, I will be able to start making videos. Though it may be a slow go when I first come back. We shall see. But um, thank you guys so much for all your comments on the announcement. I really appreciate the support uh, that I'm getting from y'all. I hate that I'm having to do this because I do, while I do enjoy chatting with you all, it's just when you're not feeling good and you're not, you're struggling to do anything or feel like doing anything, like in the position I've been in, it's not necessarily hanging out with you guys, it's just the actual doing the video and trying, I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself for it and I don't want to get to the point where I sound miserable while I'm doing the videos because that's not fun for me and that's not fun for you. So I figured it would be better to do this for a while. I still will be posting my finished pictures on Instagram. I'll put a link to my Instagram profile in the description so if you want to head on over there and follow me 
Um, it'll be there. I'll also put the link to my Facebook page if you don't have Instagram. Uh, when I post Instagram, it cross posts to my Facebook page. So you'll be able to see them there as well. Again, thank you guys so much for the support with this hiatus and just all of the health issues I've been having lately. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm sure y'all are tired of hearing about it. Um, thank you so much for participating in Mandala Mania and just thank you for being you. And just, I, I don't know, you guys are amazing. Uh, everybody that, you know, I've come across has been amazing. And I'm still in awe of the coloring YouTube community and the Instagram uh, coloring community and how supportive all you are. So you are amazing. Even if you don't feel like it, you are. So thank you. And I hope you guys see you guys soon. Thanks and bye for now.